Hello, welcome back to another Student Life video. I am Sophie and today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can use photography on your daily walks as well as a little competition we're running that you can get involved in. With the current rules of lockdown, a walk is one of the ways that you can still get out and about and even without lockdown it's a recommended daily activity. Not only will you get some fresh air and a change of scenery, but the NHS actually state that a daily walk is one of the ways to get more active, lose weight and become healthier. Whether you're currently at university or if you're still at home, getting out for a walk can help you to discover new places and you might even find your new favourite place to go. One of the ways that I've been motivating myself to get out and about is to use photography on one of my walks. Now, I'm a photographer anyway, so not only is this helping me get my daily exercise, but it's helping me to maintain a skill that I haven't really used much in the past year. And even though I've lived in Lincoln for the last five years, I've been able to discover so many new places that I wouldn't have otherwise known about. If you've been struggling to get out on walks, using it to practice photography might help you too. To give you a little bit more of an incentive, Student Life are running a competition where you can submit your best photos from your daily walks be in with the chance of winning a £25 Etsy voucher. These photos can be from around Lincoln or anywhere that you are currently staying. If you're still in Lincoln like me, there are so many places you can get out for your walk, whether you feel like braving Steep Hill or if you have access to go slightly further out to somewhere like Whitsby Nature Park. One of my favourite places to go to take photos is the walk from the Braeford to Saxelby or on West Common. When taking images, I like to look out for things that you might otherwise not notice. At first glance, these areas might just seem like a lot of bushes and not much else, or you may feel like you've seen the same typical image time and time again. To get around this, whilst walking, listen out for any animals that might be around, look out for interesting looking plants, or look ahead to what may be coming further down the path. Also try and experiment with your angles and your heights, and to not always take your images from standing. Even just crouching to take an image can completely change the outcome. You could also use one object to draw attention to another, Think about trees, they are great natural framing for drawing attention to other objects. Think about what you could use and have some fun with it. It doesn't have to be all nature either, take a look around and see what you can come up with. From urban to street to maybe a sole focus such as reflections, there are endless opportunities for you to explore whilst you're out on your walk. Now although I take all my images on this, you don't need to have a fancy camera to be able to do the same. Anything taken on your phone can look just as great. Any image taken on a walk can be submitted to this competition. All you need to do to enter is submit your photo to Student Life by either emailing digital at lincoln.ac.uk, DMing us on social media, or using hashtag Student Life Snaps on any social media platform. The competition is open from now until Wednesday the 7th of April, so grab your camera or your phone and get walking. So whether you're an avid photographer already or you're just looking to try a new skill, I hope you now have some ideas of ways that you can get out and take photos on a daily walk. And even if you're not interested in the photography side, make sure that you get out on your daily walk for some air and exercise and to help motivate you for the rest of your day. Be sure to visit UOL Student Life on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok for more content for students by students. See you next time!